Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. You are uh, looking at uh, the, my latest and greatest find. Um, if you uh, want to take a look at the uh, preview of this um, model, uh, yeah, go back and uh, check out the playlist. But anyway, welcome to another episode of uh, Matchbox World. Yes, and uh, last Monday or whenever we uh, opened one of these buggers, uh, I bought this one on eBay for uh, 1095 just to get it and uh, showcase it and I was not uh, able to open it and then uh, this last week or whatever um, uh, and that was like I want to say a month ago uh, and so then this last week I found one at a, a Walmart and it was on a bent card and it was my second one so we were able to open it up and it is a gem very very cool the cool and and cool and vintage and uh this is and it's the number one it's, it's just awesome matchbox knows what they got a winner one of 20 and uh, i'm hoping that uh, more will come out on the shelf during the christmas season but this is uh the uh, 1995 a uh, 65 excuse me 1965 land rover gen 2 pickup and so we're like, oh, that is so awesome. 1965, the Gen 2, which I don't know why they're calling it Gen 2 because, um, well, uh, well, maybe they're calling it Gen 2 because of this bugger. But bam. So uh, we all remember and know this bugger, which is the... Um, redo of the 1965 Land Rover Gen 2 Safari. So this is kind of like a second generation of the or first original. Uh, they added a playable um, component to them and uh, they have little uh, uh, this uh, little parts that come off and are exchangeable. And this is uh, their uh, modern day uh, interpretation of the uh, roof rack of the original um, um, yeah Safari number 12 so anyway so this came out a couple of years ago 90 uh, 2019 something like that 2018 I can't remember uh, we did a couple of different series they're on their third variation there was this blue one a green one and then a tan one with snakeskin on the side uh, no new top to them um, there are different tops that come from the trailer which are canoes and stuff that fit on here but they all the land rowers just come with these two tops um, the the original and then this one here so we're going to take a look at these two gen 2 Land Rovers. Now, this is the Safari, which is the five door, um, you know, full, you know, hard top deal. <clears throat> and then this is the pickup version, which, by the way, is a convertible pickup. It's not even, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a closed cab. It's open cab with opening doors. So, I mean, Holy cow, Matchbox, this is great. Uh, movable parts, you know, uh, playable parts. I don't. I think, guess they don't call it a moving parts. Uh, they have a series called Moving Parts. But anyway, let's get these two buggers together and see what we are talking about. Are these like the same casting or what? And from the onset, it looks like it is, but it's not. I mean... So the front wings have lights on them, but they're kind of different. Um, the front grill, you know, the eggs on the grill, that's pretty much the same. But then the bonnet, uh, one has got a tire on it and the other one does not. Um, just just kind of crazy. We got the split windshield for the Safari and then the, the uh, pickup has just a 
plain windshield. It's not even split. I mean, they could have made it look like a split windshield, you know, with the framing, but they didn't. <clears throat> and um, so then we're talking about, well, this is a 109. You know, one is, one is a 109 station wagon and one is a pickup and pretty darn tootin' close there. They are uh, pretty darn tootin' close. So this is about the same uh, size. You know, these are, you know, quote unquote 164 scale. Um, kind of different <laughs> bases. Yeah, they're not even the same base. Uh, you know, this one's got the bumperettes on it, which are totally awesome. And this has got just the regular uh, and a chrome bumper, but uh, very kind of cool. Um, and then uh, let's take a look at the back. Of course, the backs are going to be a little bit different because one's got the tailgate and one's got the third, you know, the fifth door. But uh, pretty much kind of the same, you know, stuff uh, other than it's flipped. This has got the license plate with the light holder on the right, and this one's got it on the left. Um, the the um, Series 2... Gen 2 Safari has no interior because it has this removable part. Uh, and then, so we don't know if it's a left hooker or a right hooker. We know that the pickup obviously is a right hooker there. But uh, yeah, very, very different, but the same. I mean, it's got the nice, um, uh, 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 what do you, side mirrors on it? I mean, the same. So I guess in looking at this and let's, you know, I just, I, I took one, I took this apart because I wanted to see how much, um, I, I don't know. What did I want to see? <laughs> I wanted to see if, I guess, is this, is this, you know, is this, this has got to be a whole new casting. I guess this is what I'm trying to say, even though it is kind of, uh, mocked up and you know it is the gen 2 but there's no way um, I mean they would have to do a whole new casting because there's no way to create um, a pickup out of the Safari and especially being with the, the uh, movable door so you know it's it yeah it's not the same but it's the same um, uh, I do tell you this, um, hold on one second here. If you guys remember, uh, this little bugger, which, um, we took a look at, uh, in another video, which is the gen two. Now this one has a uh, removable part on the top, but it doesn't, it, it has a clear window, but it, it had the interior like this one. So they swap some parts and pieces but they're not the same you, you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm not really i can't i can't take that off in a timely manner but anyway this one here and i guess that's why i oh yeah so here's a good look at it is uh you can see that it it has just the right hooker steering wheel to it and the front row seats and nothing else in the back it's just uh well it's got the post there but uh which which you know this this one would have the post you know but it has this little interior uh put in it so um yeah so those interiors are the same so just, I mean, I, uh, there's a lot of um, similarities, but yet um, they're, you know, not the, not the same, I guess, you know. So, why well, I should stop messing with that. But anyway, um, so yeah, they're robbing parts, but they're not the same parts, but they can be because, uh, you know, they're, they're practically the, the same bugger. So apparently this... Uh, this interior uh, without the glass because that's different that will fit in to this little bugger I I mean you can kind of see how it would fit in there um, I don't know if I'll ever get to the day where uh, I get enough of these buggers 
uh, to be able to uh, drill one out and actually put it in our own safari one so we can make our own one like this. But I mean, this glass piece is, is solid, you know, it's, it's not see-through, you know, because it's not meant to, uh, to have an interior because of the uh, Mattel uh, uh, guidelines. It had to have, uh, what is it, five pieces, the base, the in interior, the glass, and then the uh, body. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then the, the wheels was uh, six, seven, you know. But uh, but yeah, so this is uh, saving the, the interior of this one is on top. So anyway, um, there you have it. I mean, this, this is the same uh, bugger here as far as, you know, we know. And uh, they, they share the same wheel uh, rims, you know, so uh, just these are colored uh, brown. But uh, yeah, so I had to do a comparison of this old uh, Gen 2 Safari against the Gen 2 pickup, which shares some parts to the Gen 2 um, Matchbox exclusive, you know, so really kind of cool i what does that mean maybe we'll have some really cool stuff in the future i <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome yeah any more stuff from uh, matchbox would be great in the uh, land rover uh field so all right well that's it i got kind of carried away we got into over uh, 11 minutes hopefully you guys really enjoyed this i can't show this bugger enough we'll probably talk about it some more again but uh, thank you for joining me at Roverland. Uh, yeah, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.